you know, the credit goes to Bobby Kotick on this one, who, you know, saw a very disturbing statistic, which is that the men and women who fight our wars come home and experience three times greater uh, unemployment than the average population. And, you know, these are people who are putting their lives on the line for us and are also highly trained and highly skilled and incredible contributors. And so that just didn't sit well with him and he started the Call of Duty Endowment. The way the uh, endowment has worked is that we raise money and we raise awareness, but we get that money in the hands of organizations who are already best equipped to bring about change in this area. I mentioned on stage that Activision has paid $10 million to the endowment already and we're trying to raise more. So the endowment program specifically, you know, I love and we don't get unfortunately to directly work with some of the soldiers for, from the COD endowment system. We do bring a lot of those guys into events. So for instance, at the multiplayer reveal event, we had some Marines and Navy guys play with some pros against each other and the winning team uh, basically had a $500,000 check given to code in their behalf. Doing like stuff like that is fantastic. But it's something we're very committed to. It's something um, we take very seriously. Like with all things Activision, we focus. You know, it's our primary uh, philanthropic uh, effort and um, it's been something that uh, has been very gratifying to be involved in. We do get to work with a lot of military guys in general and that's been a phenomenal experience over the years. We try to make our games authentic, we try to get the feel right and then also there are guys who come in and you know do our mocap for us and become you know actors in the game and you know do the stunts in our commercials and uh, certainly some high-level consultants who have some you know pretty uh, harrowing stories uh, that have been some of the inspiration for some of the some of the missions and levels in our games. There's an enormous amount of appreciation for what they do and, and in no way do we feel we are a representation of what their lives are like. Mm -hmm. We are trying to be a cinematic movie experience based on authentic equipment and authentic and sometimes experiences. Like a lot of the stuff that we show in the game has been done by someone but it's not a representation of what they do, or it's not an equivalent of any way of what they do. It's, it's just, it's a, um, we're trying to make a fun movie. There's a lot of, and we've tried to do this too, is not in just always the public face, but try to give those guys copies of games. We know they're fans and they're doing something extremely difficult and anything we can do to make their off time better, it would be silly, selfish not to. In the lobby, we have uh, an American flag that was flown on a chopper during a big push during combat in Iraq. The squadron that flew the choppers were huge fans of the game, as many of the military guys are, and they sent us the, a, a, an appreciation letter, a, it's like an official government letter thing, in a triangle box with the folded flag. And for me, that was, that was, a, that was, re, that was a really cool thing, better than winning any kind of like awards or something. That's, that's the kind of awards that we want to win, in a sense.